Social media is a good thing. I mean, it, it has its positive side and negative side. But as I'm standing here, I'm here through Facebook. Um, I served as the former women's commissioner for Ghana Institute of Journalism. So everything that I was doing as the women's commissioner, aside sharing it on our Facebook page, I share it on my personal page as well. So I was there when uh, Ms. Binta DM'd me and she said she has seen my work so far. So would I like to moderate her event for her today? They also made mention of stepping out of your comfort zone. You know that this is my first time of moderating an event. <laughs> I, I have never done something like this on International Women's Day. What you would normally see me do is organize events, get pe uh, big people to come and speak. At the end of the day, I'll give votes of thanks, and then that is it. But I mean, because I have a communication background, for some of us, confidence is not something that we are really struggling with. But, but even with that, sometimes before you come and speak, you just have this small shiver and then all that. But as, it, as they said, you have to put yourself forward. Another story about my social media, that is specifically the Facebook again. So last year, when I was organizing my Women's Week, I needed to get um, sponsorship from people. So I wrote letters to big, big companies, and then one of the companies is Belacqua. So they called me that I have to come for an interview, and then I have to do a PowerPoint presentation on why they have to come on board. And when I went, I did it. In fact, I thought they were going to give me a board or something to do it, but they say I should do it off head. And that very week before we went, I had joined SMG for us to send a petition to Parliament on the rise on um, sanitary products. So I shared it on my Facebook and then on my Facebook story, and then I had 1.7k view. So I took a screenshot of it, and then it was on my phone. So when I went there, the people were like. I should open my Facebook and then Instagram. They want to see what I do on social media. <laughs> Lo and behold, the dress that I wore to the interview, that is the dress that is on my Facebook DP and even my Instagram profile right now. That's, the, that's still the same dress. So I opened my social media and they check. As I said, then I was the Ocom. So I was doing a lot of um, women empowerment events and then they were spread on my Facebook. And then I showed them the... Um, SMG, uh, our collaboration that we went to Parliament to send the petition, and then I showed them the view, which is 1.7k. And what the man said was, wow, in this day and age, it's very difficult to find a decent young woman on Facebook clocking this, I mean, view without not showing any part of my body. And then it's even about voicing out something that a lot of young women are struggling with. Then the, the prices of sanitary pad has gone, had gone very high. So he was like, with what I'm even doing on social media alone, I, I have the deal. And that is how I had Belacqua on board as a sponsor for my Women's Week. So as they said, social media is our CV. It's not only about we posting dancing videos. And I mean, it's, it's, it's nice to do some of these things. But sometimes we should be serious. We should know where to do these things and where not to do them. You can say that you do them on your WhatsApp status because with even that one, you have limited view. I mean, some people can see it and then others can't. But on social media, uh, on Facebook, it's so wide that anybody else, whether the person is your friend or it's not your friend, can just go through your wall and then they'll see what you are doing. So when they say social media is our CV, it is true. And then I'm a living testimony of that. Happy TV, unique every day.